The calories you eat and the energy you burn through exercise or other physical activity determine whether you lose weight or gain weight. Calories are a measure of energy. When you eat or drink, you are taking calories in. The energy from these calories can be compared to fuel for your car. In the same way, calories help keep your body running. This includes all the things that your body does to keep you alive without you thinking about it, such as breathing, pumping blood through your veins, and digesting your food. It also includes the things you are aware of doing, sitting, walking, cooking, working, and playing. Unlike your car, though, it is possible to put more calories into your body than it needs to do the things it needs to do. When this happens, the extra calories are stored as fat. In order to maintain your weight, you need to balance the calories you take in with exercise and activity that burns the same number of calories. If your goal is to lose weight, you'll want to burn more calories than you take in. Your body will use some of the extra energy it has stored as fat and your weight will go down. It would be nice if there were a simple formula that you could follow so that you would know exactly how many calories you need to eat and burn to lose weight, but it doesn't work that way. The rate at which your body burns calories is like the miles per gallon in a car. And like cars, not all models burn fuel at the same rate. Your body may have a high-performance engine like a race car, or you may be built to save fuel like a compact or hybrid car. Some do not need as much fuel as others, even if they are the same size. Also, even if you start out with a zippy new car, it may become less efficient with age and require premium fuel to maintain peak performance. As we age, it matters what we eat as much as how much we eat. There are things we can do to run more efficiently, being active, eating healthy foods, and keeping up to date on maintenance. From time to time, we all need to tune up our eating patterns and physical activity and to pay attention to our sleep, mental health, and stress management in order to keep driving.